Sometimes I dream of a big stage, the biggest ever existed. The play had already handed to. I am the only one left. Welcome, my dear public, welcome. Take a seat and let me tell you the story of how it all started. A tale of love, jealousy, fire and blood. But most importantly, death. There was an actress, you see. She worked on a little stage, not a big one of the dream, not yet, with a small company. She died of manners of death to amuse her audience. All horror enthusiasts like herself. It was not your traditional theatre after all. It was a temple to everyone looking for a spooky story. Little she knew, a true monster would have visited her in the end. The monster had no name she cares to remember. He dressed always in gold, so this is how we will call him, the man in gold. He appeared in the theatre one night out of nowhere and never left. He brought rich thoughts, so the small company was glad to have him around. And they had a vast experience with monsters after all, or so they thought. They could not know that their play was in its finale. One night, the man in gold asked for the actress' hand, but the actress said no. Maybe some of you would feel pity for the poor, rejected monster. You should not believe me, because the monsters was indeed, well, a monster. And that single no costed the actress dearly. Now in ashes lies all that she had loved, lost to the flames without her. The actress died, but not died. Condemned to see the end of her play and be left alone. A character without a story, so to say. <sighs> Can you imagine that? Being left behind by your own story? That would happen to me. Every character met their fate in a blazing ending. Everyone but me. So what should I do now? The stage is empty, no one is there but me. And now me too am a monster. My name is Mara. I belong to Clan Nosferatu. But I think you should be more worried about is what role I will choose to play next.